Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Historical Germany on Elite Iron Man mode. So we left off. I was having some problems getting the AI to cooperate with me and I was attempting to get Hungary and Romania into my faction. Uh, and then the game crashed and all my subsequent loadouts would crash as well. So this is my third playthrough, my third try of Historical Germany. And this time I will post my focus tree build below. I modified it very... Um, I did not modify my focus tree build a lot, just slightly. Um, and as you can see, I left Vichy France up this time. It was just too tempting to click the Vichy France, uh, the Case Anton button because it's so good so I'll promise not to click that unless it's necessary it's interesting to note that Case Anton was November 1942 so some of the events that we have coming up here are Operation Barbarossa June 22nd 1941 so currently I'm on the focus tree naval effort and I will be doing the expand dockyard facilities and then we'll be declaring war on the USSR. It should be in late June. And then we'll tee off and have the big battle. Interesting to note, I lost my Navy. So I'm going to be prioritizing Plan Z. Expand Dockyard Facilities, Plan Z, and then crossing the Atlantic. So we're going to stay as historical as possible. Um... Germany declares war on the U.S. 1941, December 11th. So crossing the Atlantic will come up by the end of this year in 1941. Not sure if I'm going to do Case Anton or not. Historically, if you've watched my other videos on Case Anton, what happened is, you know, obviously uh, the U.S. landed... Uh, took out, took back North Africa, and then was able to cr uh, threaten a crossing into the south of France. Uh, that sparked Hitler to get worried and try to capture the fleet down here in Toulon. And um, he did not capture it in time. The Vichy French government was able to scuttle the fleet. And um, the rest is history. But in this playthrough... It looks like Italy's doing quite a good job. They even snagged uh, Norway from me. And um, so they've become quite powerful. I mean, it's okay to me that they got like parts of Yugoslavia and Greece. They're still fighting there in Greece, uh, grinding it out. Uh, what happened historically, I believe, was they had so many problems with their army that Germany had to help them out down here and that's what delayed Operation Barbarossa uh, but basically this would all be German territory um, I do not have uh, the Kingdom of Romania in my faction I think I screwed up the Vienna Awards um, and I gave Hungary Northern Transylvania. I'm going to have to double check on that. I thought that that was historical. And Hungary is in my faction. Let's check this out here. So let's see here. I want to see who all is in my faction. It would be Italy. Okay, so Romania is in my faction. Okay. Hungary, Slovakia, Independent State of Croatia, and Vichy France. Invite to faction. Kingdom of Romania is already in faction. Okay, sorry. Doi. Okay, so if they're in my faction, I cannot request volunteers from them yet. I guess that they they don't really trust me enough for that to happen or they don't have enough stability for that to happen. 
Not sure. But we're going to tee off this war pretty soon. I don't trust them, so my troops are, should be filtering in over here. Let's see, am I able to get in there? Are my troops going moving over? Let's see who this is. Yeah, they're they're heading over. I've got some pretty strong anti-tank templates here because I know the Soviets. Uh, really uh, go hard with the tanks. It looks like I'm using uh, captured Greek uh, weapons here. The Greeks uh, had the Mandlicker carbine, I believe, for World War II. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I just wanted to show you the stats real quick. Piercing 32, pretty good. I think it should be able to pierce anything. So... Pretty proud of that template there. Other thing. So yes, I did spark Operation Sea Lion here. It was, it was open to me. So I grounded out here in the English Channel. Almost all my planes are over here in England right now. And I noticed there was only two English ships. So I took the crossing. I mean... It's not historical, you know, it didn't happen, but if the opportunity's there, just playing the game as historically as possible. Obviously not everything can be historical as we look at, you know, Norway here. So let's get into it and uh, see what happens. I recently got my second army over here onto English soil, and I have captured London, so uh, typically that's most of the UK's production so I think I should be able to grind it out and then I'm also building these uh, dockyard these naval bases so that I can get supply it doesn't look like I have any supply issues yet so and we're grinding it out pretty hard there so should be okay I gotta catch up on these um, production lines here this this is really important construction I always say take concentrated industry as soon as there's like 30 days 300 days or less okay he might be able to wrap here particularly if we can get someone attacking I think it'd be better to do this that freezes him he can't move over yeah their divisions are on the ropes here they, it doesn't look like they have a lot of organization. Okay, so there's still convoys running through here. Let's see, zero friendly and zero enemy um, ships in there. So it kind it kind of does hurt to not get the Vichy France fleet like you can if you're just playing a normal playthrough. Oh, we're gonna get this huge pocket. But what I found was, I this time, when I invaded France, I did not allow Italy in, to join war. So I took this easily by myself. However, I did feel the heat from the English Navy, and they did wipe one of my fleets. So now I only have like one major fleet and a sub-fleet. Sub-fleet's doing work out here. It's doing good work with Carl Donitz. He's a beast. But this is literally the only fleet that I have, guys. I have one battleship. Um, but I did make the crossing for Oper Operation Sea Lion. And that's probably the way it would have uh, worked out in real life, is that basically it was an all-or-nothing thing. Germany was going to lose um, most of their navy if they attempted that crossing. So makes sense. I may try to just let the AI micro my planes when we do Operation Barbarossa. That'll be kind of fun to do, but, you know, it's not always perfect, but at least it's something. You don't have to, it's something, you don't have to micro as much, so it's pretty cool. This guy can squeak around over here. Okay. 
So we are going to go expand the dockyards, or should I go Plan Z first? I don't really have the research available to take advantage of that. Two naval dockyards. Four. We're going to go with four. And then Barbarossa's next. Happen here. Okay. Yeah, get over there. Oh. Very nice. So this guy must have got kicked out of here. So if we can just keep up the heat against these low organization units, we're really gonna do well. Um, you both don't need to attack there. So Liverpool is the current um capital, but you're going to need to take three capitals, so you're going to need to take Glasgow. Uh, there's a Greek. Greek guy over there. Wow, he's he's owning me. I'm going to have to slow down. Oh, we had some supply die faculties. If I take out Newcastle, that would be nice. And... Interesting to note the MEFO bills fell off and when that happened occupation oh wow so political power goes down with occupation I don't think I need to boost uh, my influence over here I guess that's a whole amount cancel boost popularity okay that will give me more political power um, and I should if I do conquer the allies in the UK you can never forget improved national spirit daily political power gain plus one that's huge <laughs> and ideology drift defense plus 50 percent removes national spirit bitter loser which is basically just the ideology uh, drift defense so it's just showing that Germany uh, has a new national spirit that they now have confidence they got back at the allies and the the evil UK okay let's push into these guys so these guys will want to move over it would be nice to have a navy so they're probably getting transported over right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. So my temptation here is to start crossing units over to UK, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I did reintegrate Alsace-Lorraine, so I do not need occupational units in those two areas. Yeah, this should just be full German. These territories right here. Okay. And these gentlemen have moved up enough. Oh, that was another issue. I did not have air support up here. That's why they couldn't push. I didn't have air superiority. You, you most certainly can get up there. I want to take Liverpool, and then we'll take Glasgow, so that the capital doesn't move to some weird place across the map that I can't get to easily. So typically, if you take uh, three capitals, uh, that is typically enough to uh, have that country sue for peace. However, the Soviets, I believe, will have three capital changes, and it usually takes a fourth to have them cap capitulate. It is really difficult to get the Soviet Union to capitulate. Okay. So these guys... I was having my transport planes boost supply when I just made my... while I had first made my landing... Oh, they got navy in there again. Uh-oh. 
Let's see what we can do. And then I'm probably going to need some fighters in the channel. They must have something over there, huh? Yeah. Wow. They're focusing on that crossing. They want to hold that crossing. Don't blame them. I mean, at this point, we most certainly should get England. I don't think that they're going to be able to stand against us. I've got a uh, Kurt student here who could attempt a cheeky crossing. That's not going to happen. We're not. We don't have any naval forces down here, and there's 17 enemy ships present, so that crossing is just not going to fly. So I'm getting a lot of production from England. Which in turn means that I need more resources, of course. Happy to see that we're killing some ships there. Okay, I'm going to need a lot more oil. Okay, it's coming up. I could make some more. I actually like Alpine Jaegers better because they have engineer companies. Could make some more special forces here. Give them to my general Eagle Seer, which you get from Austria. He's an excellent uh, mountain division commander. What's nice about these as well is they mostly take up just guns and support equipment. I'm negative 44 on that though. No, negative 444. We'll deprioritize them and they can just trickle out as we get them. So until they capitulate, so this is this is where the update comes in handy. There's not, not a way for us to be doing this right now if these troops don't get supply. And basically the supply is still coming over despite them having naval superiority in this area. So you see uh, all these transports here. And they clearly have naval superiority. Oh, they don't anymore. Well, when they did, just a few moments ago, um, there's still supply... Getting over there, I believe. Kampfgruppe. 10%, okay. Oh, because the technology sharing agreement. Okay, I like it. All infantry, mod, and mech. So the fire brigades. Tanks organi organization plus two. Absolutely. Absolutely. You stay on the... Mobile warfare, whatever your doctrine that you're going for, just stay on that till the end. Particularly if you're just playing, like, slow playing this, like I am. I mean, you guys not th may not think that this is slow playing it, but I'm usually done with the game two years from, you know, earlier. Just improved artillery. I know I have to get construction, but... It's only a hundred. We're going up against the Soviets. We're going to need a lot of construction to contend with the Soviets too. But I do have a good occupation por uh, force. I got Paulus there to help me out. So we need to take Liverpool, then we'll take Glasgow. Um, having some supply issues up north there. So they, they kind of know what they're doing. We're going to surround this pocket and close it.
We still have superiority over there, so they probably moved their navy out because I was just kicking their butt. Let's see if we can get some more cast to break these guys up. Or we can use tack. Uh, tack bombers are fine. But that should help up here. Get these boys moving. Still supply issues. These guys are going to rebalance over. So we took out that pocket, I assume. It's up to speed. Oh, they're back out. Excellent. Am I churning anything out right now? No. So we're just going to go with the whole one big navy philosophy at this point. God, I can't believe I'm saying this. I need more production. That's crazy. What? What the heck? Maybe it's better that that happened that way. We're at war with legionary Romania. Who is... I'm confused. Okay, so... Alright, so they're gonna attack us. Or something. Oh, there was a civil war? Who am I attacking? I am at war with legionary Romania, but not this government. Okay. I don't understand it. Let's get Eagle Seer to help us out. Yeah. And then it was this gentleman right here who was... Lining up over there. Okay, alliance with Italy, second Vienna Ward. I mean, maybe I needed to incorporate second Vienna Ward into my focus tree build. Maybe that was it. Transylvania has a Hung Hungarian majority and should rightly belong to our friends in Hungary. However, it is hard to say how the Romanian regime, regime and people will react to this demand. So maybe I thought that this would put... Um, Romania against us. It appears that they went against us anyway. I mean, this is really bad because so I'm glad we didn't get Operation Barbarossa yet. Who should I pull off the line here? Who's this? Munstein? E yeah, let's pull Munstein off the line as well. Von Lieb is... Okay, so there's just another uh, pocket over there. Where's Von Lieb? Here we go. So he can diminish this pocket. Take the port. And hopefully he'll be able to just take out that pocket very nicely. And let's get him some air support down there. Just a little bit of cast. Just a little trickle. And we are going to need some cast over here as well. Fighters. So that was a weird twist of fate because, I mean, he's got a German... General Field Marshal's... Yeah. He's got a Field Marshal's uh, uniform on, guys. I mean, come on. Yeah, we need some support equipment. Bad. I'm not going to click Case Anton. Sorry, I just have to do that because, or else I will. i got to tell myself, don't do it. Okay, so they these 
their back is obviously broken here. And since we'll get the line set up again, but it's May, June. Yeah, we should get this on time. War with the USSR. Okay, Kingdom of Romania. So my whole line here is pretty screwed up. Everyone needs to stop what they're doing and reset. Okay, what are we doing here? Eagle Seer. Where's Von Beck going? Don't go anywhere. Did I confuse Von Beck and Von Lieb? Yeah. Oh, we got a pocket. They can take that and literally just run with it. That'll be awesome. And then that'll dissolve all those divisions. Did Bulgaria reform? Oh, we're still at war with Bulgaria now, too. We got to get this stuff taken care of here. This is starting to get out of hand. Okay, and his order's erased. Alright, yeah, these guys are done. Cut them off from the sea. And then they just need to travel through there. Okay, upgraded the signal company. And, as promised, construction four. Alright. Fun, fun, fun time. This always looked like a golf club to me. Put a comment in below if you think that looks like a golf club. And these look like slices of cheese. It's just like whenever it pops up, I'm like, are we playing golf today? He's signing this document with a golf club. All right. United Kingdom has capitulated. Oh, got that juicy support equipment. I need that. So I thought I reintegrated Luxembourg, dude. But here they are on the peace agreement. So... Might want to look at that, devs. I reintegrated Luxembourg. I don't feel like it should be on this peace agreement. Main issue here, Italy has a lot of war score. Therefore, oh, Poland's in it too. That's, that's correct, though. Italy has a lot of war score. And, yeah, so we're going to have to be mindful of that because they can take the UK from me. I basically, I think I need all these countries first because I'm connected with them. I mean, I guess I don't need Denmark. I'm not going to use any exploits. I'm just going to do this the standard way. So we'll take Poland because I, I want to maintain this front here. And then it's just silly if I didn't have these countries in the low countries. I'm glad that um, this isn't in the, the peace agreement. So the key there was probably keeping Vichy France alive, I guess. I don't know. This is free France, though. That's probably going to come up in another pre peace agreement there. Treaty of Brazzaville. I'm going to try not to get as confused as I do during these peace agreements. So I can't I can't even get these guys. I don't have enough war score. I'm just going to try to snatch up as much of the UK as I can before Italy starts coming in here and making my life hell. Italy must be focused elsewhere on the Baltic states. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got in England. Um, 
I don't need this little piece of land. So they just took everything down here. That's fine. Uh, priorities? Getting some rubber? Aluminum? Just resources should be my priority, but I guess I'll take... Oh, they got some aluminum. I'll take Denmark. And to be historical... Look, at they got some tungsten up here. I'll take Norway, too. Okay. Got that. I don't want that piece of land. There's no resources anyways. Oh, the Raj. Kuwait. No oil production, just the port, huh? I gotta think just to end it there and then I'll pass one more time to get my war score up and then we're gonna see what else I'm gonna need to get oh Canada yes sir I guess we won't need that fleet to cross the Atlantic wait if I declare war against England, though, well, I could probably get some forces over there by the end of the year. So we have to create a lot more armies. I need a lot more guns. That has some oil. Just taking this just because. Doesn't look like Italy has any interest in the Raj over here. Oh, British Malaya. And the game is no longer historical. It is completely and utterly broken. Portuguese. What are you going to let me get? What the heck? It looks like they're starting to puppet this, some of these areas out. I don't like it. I don't really need Australia. That tungsten would be nice. It's kind of weird getting this area of the world considering I don't have a navy. So most likely the local peoples over here would revolt against the German Reich. Oh, who? What? Take Australia. Can I take all the rest of those? And the rest of that. Okay, and we're done. So someone was puppeting out the Australians as I took them. Equipment has been seized, 429,000. No Navy. <laughs> We've get, we're all the way across the world here. 
and I got nothing. It would have been nice to have taken these two, um, because they have all the uh, aluminum, the aluminium. Okay, we have all the tools that we need. Oh, so Vichy France takes over the rest of France. Okay, that's an interesting one, guys. During the peace conference, it said free France up here. And now Vichy France has them. Fine by me. So we'll just have uh, my fleet hold the Baltic states there. Um, so Modell and our forces here are going to have to cross the Atlantic and hold Canada. While I'm still not at war with uh, good old US of A. And they're going to need a lot more than just this. And I don't really need Paulus's occupation force any longer. So we're just going to have him chill for a while over here. Like, maybe have most of his forces just hang out over here in Poland or something. Because what they're going to do is, as we advance, they're going to trail behind my armies. And just fill in so that there's no uh, penalty for to resistance. So the resistance fighters aren't destroying my rail lines, etc., etc. And then there's no need for this anymore. I don't... Well, I'll finish off the existing naval bases. I'm going to need a lot of naval dockyards. Let's see if there's any areas to build on. Infrastructure of 30. It must be because they're bombing it so badly. I'm just trying to find high infrastructure areas to build some more dockyards. And then all this, this isn't going to help me building stuff over here since I don't control it. I mean, I can always get oil from Vichy France, but I'd rather just put them in places that I actually control. Just get it directly. It's a lot cheaper that way. Okay. We need a lot of oil because most of our oil comes from Russia right now and we're about to declare war on them uh, real quick. All these areas I need dockyards. I just don't need these naval bases. I'll just put them to the bottom. And we'll start prioritizing everything else. Oil first. Oops. Wow, so many civilian factories now. Crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, Barbarossa is coming up. And I it's going to take me a lot of time to reorganize all this other stuff. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all for joining me. And... Uh, this is a look at how you can basically build Germany if you want to try to follow a historical pathway. I chose to do this build more opportunistically and 
realistically, if there was an opening to me, if I could get across the, the English Channel and invade the UK, obviously I did. Uh, it would be better in the in Hearts of Iron 4 to get Case Anton, for sure. I did not, however, because of the historical in, inaccuracy of that. If Hitler did not have to get Case Anton to take over, he needed that fleet in the Mediterranean, and um, he needed to defend the coast with competent troops or troops that were more loyal to him. Um, so that's why he did it. Um, and as long as Vichy France uh, was basically established, he had all these uh, other colonial territories that he could um, kind of exert his influence over. So thanks for joining me, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you would like more of this type of content. Leave me comments below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. There's no stupid questions, and uh, keep gaming. I'll see you on the next one.